His dress sword may be dull, but at age 97, Bill Decatur's memories are sharp when it comes to his service in the U.S. Army. We uh, furnished burial rites, honor guard for the black soldiers. Everything was segregated. Drafted out of high school, Decatur served during World War II. He was a Buffalo soldier, part of an all-black regiment created after the Civil War. They didn't know what to do with the black troops. So they sent them out west. And when they went out west, they guarded the railroads, the roads, the Pony Express. Their job was to keep the Indians off the settlers, the settlers off the Indians. Buffalo Soldier Cavalry Regiments went on to play a role in both world wars as segregation continued to divide the Army. Decatur recalls silently simmering as white officers commanded the Buffalo Soldiers. Now the white troops could drink out of our fountain, and if I drank out of there, I could be arrested. Who would you complain to? You didn't question the orders. Decatur served stateside during World War II, training horses and soldiers, and carrying out up to five funeral ceremonies a day at Arlington National Cemetery. Mr. Decatur was honorably discharged from the Army after two years of service. He continued to work with horses as a trainer, eventually settling on this horse farm here in Sykesville. He still lives here today, and he remains an active member of the Baltimore area chapter of the Buffalo Soldiers. His goal now is to share their legacy with younger generations to make sure they remember the Buffalo Soldiers. They were somebody. They counted. When the Japanese and the Germans were grinding up the uh, American troops, they needed everybody. And Decatur hopes his fellow Buffalo soldiers are remembered as American heroes. In Sykesville, Carrie Cavanaugh, WBAL, TV 11 News. What a great